It's very unfortunate that uh, the deputy president is uh, overwhelmed. And I guess uh, that's why he's here, because he's completely crushed. Um, we've not been able to have any conversation with him or even to see him properly because we came in when the doctors were um, at it. And therefore, we may not be able to talk about um, his medical status right now. But um, I'm sure you have heard from even the people who saw him come in. Um, things uh, were a little bit uh, heavy on him. Yeah, so we just came here to just support the family and uh, support uh, his workers, his support staff. They are really crushed. And uh, we are hoping and praying that uh, he's going to come out of it. Um, okay, fair, fair. I don't sit in the Senate, but you've just seen what has happened in the Senate. Maybe a sentiment on this as we, as, as the Deputy President is still in this facility. Um, it's quite unfortunate that uh, politics has pushed us to the extent that uh, we no longer respect life or dignify life. Because I thought um, the honorable thing that the uh, Senate should have done is to allow the Deputy President to get himself up and um, continue with the process. But if the Senate has decided that uh, they really do not give weight to, um, to the human defeat of the process, then I think uh, we have a lot to rectify in this country. It's very